right guys, so it is time for another day trip. Today we have left Tokyo behind and come to Kamakura, which is a coastal town about one hour south of Tokyo. We hopped on the Shonan Shinjuku line and paid 920 yen to get here. Also, this place is known as the Kyoto of the East because you have a whole bunch of temples to visit. So our plan today is to temple hop and also enjoy lots of street food. So we are currently walking down Komachi Street and this is the place to enjoy street food. However, it's still a little bit early in the day. It's just past 10 a.m. and a lot of the shops are just opening up and setting up their, their food stalls. So our plan of action is to go visit the temple at the end of the street and then we'll come back with an even bigger appetite and enjoy some street food here in Kamakura. just entered our first temple and this right behind me is the Genpei Pond. What do you think? Look Very how, look lush. How, look how much, yeah, it's like super lush right in front of me. Also, it's going to be a hot day today, yeah, man. Is. Like it's so early in the morning already, and we're already I'm, struggling I'm with the humidity. I'm sweating bullets already, like just yeah. a non-stop stream of sweat coming down my forehead. <laughs> So it would appear this is a very popular spot for school groups to come on field trips. Like so far, most of the people visiting yeah. are kids. It's like field trip central at the field moment. Field trip central, yes. So now I want to show you something that's super typical of Japanese temples. And basically just behind me, like over my shoulder, we've got this massive wall full of sake barrels. And basically these are offerings. Aside from the barrels, we also have some boxes and more sake. So this behind me, these are more like modern offerings, I would say. I don't know about these older barrels, if they're actually empty or if they still hold sake. But yeah, that's, that's a lot of alcohol. A lot of booze here at the temple. And this is where people come to tie their prayers and wishes. So we just yeah. finished visiting that temple. We sure did. We found a little shady reprieve here off in the corner. Yeah. There's nobody around here. It's kind yeah. of cool. And there is a museum in there that's 200 yen. We've decided to save our money and we're going to spend that on street food instead. Yes. And yes. that's where we're headed next. Indeed. Food time. I brought my appetite. And one uh, custom. Hi. Hi. So we didn't waste a single minute after visiting the temple. We just hustled back to where we were earlier, the street that is just lined with street food stands. So I found something that I've been wanting to try since we arrived in Japan. This is a mochi ball stuffed with custard with a strawberry on top. We haven't seen it in a lot of markets, but I've seen it in a lot of videos and it just looks so delicious So I knew I had to order one. This was 300 yen and let's just admire this thing of beauty before sure I buy looks, it It sure looks beautiful. Oh mm. Oh, that's a big bite. Oh, wow. that's a monster bite. Oh, wow. Is that good? Not just oozes custard <laughs> mm. Wow, I didn't even get strawberry in there Tasty times. Not better. Wow. Sweet too. Mm. This is amazing. This may be one of the favorite things I've had wow. at a street food market. This is so good. That's incredible. Well, Sam was certainly a bit more adventurous with his choice. Yeah. When I saw this little omelet with mini fish, I'm like, I've got to try this. This is one yeah. of one of the most visually interesting pieces of Japanese street food I've ever seen. Yeah, and this was yeah. 250 yen. Yeah, it sure was. Let's see if it was worth it. Oh, let's try that. I'm just going to try not to spill too much of it. That's my biggest concern. Mmm. Oh, wow. What do you think? Well, the first thing you notice when you bite into it is that it's a really thick omelet. So you have that taste of the omelet. 
But then as you start chewing it, you start getting more of the fish taste. Um, to be honest, the fish isn't as strong as I was expecting. I thought mm -hmm. it would be a bit more crispy and salty, but yeah. it, it is it is salty, but it's not as salty and crispy as I'd expected. But interesting, it's, it tastes good. Like I'm definitely getting my protein this morning. One apple cinnamon. Apple cinnamon. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh. 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 Oh.
it's, it has a more sesame flavor than it does like ice cream. And it's wow. so thick. It's some of the thickest ice cream I've ever had. I can describe it as feeling a lot heavier and less refreshing than normal ice cream, but I like the richness of the taste. It's interesting. really, really interesting. And you know what? They also had some other weird flavors. One of them There's being white bait, which is white a tiny bait. white fish you had on top of the omelet. That's yeah. an ice cream flavor. Or, or yeah, that on the omelet. I'm not gonna try that yeah. with ice cream. I don't want to ruin my relationship with ice cream. I know, that could ruin ice cream forever. <laughs> yeah, forever. All right guys, we've been uh, trying to figure out what kind of souvenirs we're gonna get from Japan. And we haven't bought anything. Chopsticks, wooden Finally, we're going spoons, to. wooden knife. For the future home. Future home. That is coming up. It's coming up someday. All right, time for another snack. And we've actually popped into the shop where there's AC and like little stools. <clears throat> so this is wonderful. It is so hot outside. It is wonderful. Um, so this, again, no idea what it's called because no English signs. But it kind of, like in the photo, it looked like maybe mashed potato. Yeah, kind of like a croquette maybe like with croquette? cheese. Yes. Yeah. So it looks like it's fried. Japanese it looks croquette. Crispy on the outside. Yeah. And I ordered the cheese kind, and this yeah. was 180 yen. So yeah, I've got high hopes for this. First bite. Mm. What do you think? Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh wow. It's kind of like mashed potato with cheese. Whoa. Mm-hmm. That is good. That almost needs a bit of ketchup, let me tell you. <laughs> we go good with some, some salsa, some dip. Mm. Pleasantly surprised. Okay, and for dessert, still at the same shop, we got some ice cream. This one is purple potato. Sweet yeah, purple potato. sweet potato. Purple sweet potato yeah. and matcha. So you can see the two colors mixed together. And I paid 350 yen. Yes. Or is it 380? 350. 350. There we go. And it's melting fast. So let's dig in. Mm. Is it good? Mm. What do you taste more? I mostly taste matcha so far. So let's see what the purple is all about. I've got to say, the purple potato doesn't have a strong flavor to it. No? It could be, could be anything. It's dominated by the matcha. It's dominated by matcha. Matcha is way stronger. Matcha for here. the win. <laughs> but yeah, super refreshing. And yeah. they have a whole bunch of other flavors. Yeah. Like there's soda. There's yeah. a, sep uh, a special type of strawberry as well that's kind of like white in color. Yeah. So yeah, you can get creative over there. So update, we had our food and we are now on our way to go see the Buddha. So basically, we walked back to the train station, Kamakura station, and we got on the Enoshima line, and it was three stops over to Hase. We got off there. The train was so crowded. It was super packed. Um, but anyways, we just got off, and now we are walking towards the Buddha, towards the mountains. That's gonna be our next temple. What are you using to cool down? Oh my gosh, our tickets. We made it. We made it. We are seriously like drenched in sweat right now. It's yeah. kind of gross. But anyways, <laughs> we've reached the temple. It was 200 yen per person to enter. Also, yeah. they had a really funny sign, like right as you're buying your tickets. It says, no Pokemon Go here. <laughs> like, I know that game was really popular for a while. Maybe it still is, is in Japan. Is it? I, I, yeah, I remember hearing about that a few years yeah. ago. And then, yeah, I remember yeah. like last time we were in Singapore, there were like masses of people like yes. running places. And we were like, what is going on? Why is yeah. everyone on their phones? It was like Pokemon Go Central. So there must be a Pokemon in the temple, but you <laughs> can't catch it here. the Buddha that is the second tallest Buddha in Japan we saw the yeah. tallest one in Nara yeah what did you think? I thought it was massive I think the only bigger Buddha that I've ever seen was the one in Hong Kong do you remember the TN10 Buddha oh yeah yeah that was okay. huge but yeah. this thing is a behemoth it's it's definitely worth checking out for sure also you can pay 200 yen to go inside the statue but on a day like today with this heat <laughs> like what is that cast iron imagine being in no there thanks. no thanks so we no thanks that. hot enough outside as it is we're enjoying a relatively quiet escape because a lot of the kids are eating their lunch. You can probably hear them in the background. But yeah, it's just nice and lush and shaded over here. 
I'm really learning to appreciate shade in Japan in the summertime. Like, the heat here is like Southeast Asia heat. It's super humid, and I wasn't quite expecting that. Okay, so it is time for our last temple. We are currently visiting Hasudera Temple and we paid 300 yen per person. Also, because it's June and the hydrangeas are in bloom, they gave us this special ticket. It's a number ticket. Um, so basically, I guess you line up and you can walk along the path and enjoy the beautiful flowers in bloom. So we'll try that if it's not looking too, too crowded. and then we walked through a tiny little tunnel and here we have more like little niches um, with smaller smaller statues and it's also a wet cave there's like water dripping everywhere Whoa. <laughs> Sam is struggling he's like hobbled over Whoa. there's more there's another cave here And there we have the exit. Oh my gosh! Daylight again. That was cool. That was very unexpected. Well, well. That's been a long day. Well, well, we are headed home. It was a long day, mostly because of the heat, but we saw some really cool temples, we ate some delicious street food. Yeah. And yeah, now we're going back to Tokyo. But if you're looking for a fun day trip, Kamakura is certainly worth it. <laughs> 